The challenge was to come up with an artwork that was going to be under the dome, this glorious national and sacred space of St Paul's, that would mark Remembrance Tide. And what it's going to be is a 30-foot diameter white disc on the floor, right underneath the dome. And it'll look as if thousands of poppies have fallen from the ceiling and landed at random on that disc. Now, that will represent the random nature of war. Who dies, who lives, is a matter of chance. But then, when you go up to the famous Whispering Gallery and look down, you'll see that those poppies haven't just landed at random. They form an image, an image of three children, child soldiers, because it's a sad fact that historically, and still today, children have been put in uniform and armed to fight adults' wars. The piece was actually made 700 miles away, up in the north, on the far most northern island of the whole British Isles in Unst in Shetland, which is where I have a home. And uh, a friend of mine who has a brewery, the Valhalla Brewery, said, would I like to use the space above the building that he's now converting into a larger um, brewery um, building, uh, which used to be part of RAF Saxeford. Um, and it was a lovely space to work in, and he kindly let me do that. And over the summer, I have been painting boards, shaping boards, pinning poppies, uh, very, very particularly in space, in the right place on these boards, according to the design that I drew up. Um, and then we had to transport it uh, across three ferries, down to the mainland, then down to, uh, to Kent, um, and then up to St Paul's. It's been quite a logistical uh, uh, operation, really, um, but uh, it was made in an old RAF base up in the far north and then brought down to St Paul's uh, for November the 10th and the 11th. It's one of those things that emerged because I'd been thinking quite a lot about the poppy as a symbol and feeling that it needs to become a universal symbol of remembrance and go back to becoming a symbol of, of grief and of peace, um, a way of reminding us all that we should work hard to preserve peace. Um, it's not just there to uh, be a symbol of national pride, it's something that can be adapted internationally as a universal symbol of remembrance and to remember the children in particular who have been involved in adults' wars. It's interesting too that actually it'll be above the tomb of uh, Lord Nelson and Lord Nelson on his uh, ship, the, the Victory at, uh, at Trafalgar, actually had 13 year olds on board. He had uh, boy sailors, uh, they, they were called powder monkeys, some of them carrying the explosives uh, from the store to the guns and it was quite commonplace in those days. And one of the images of the children I've got is of a 14 year old who fought in the British Army in the First World War. Uh, shouldn't have been there, but the recruiting sergeants turned a blind eye when he came along full of enthusiasm. And then the other two children that I show, there's a girl, because about a third of all of the uh, children currently in uniform are girls. Um, she was, uh, represents those girls who've been in wars, uh, certainly in Vietnam, in Sri Lanka and other places like that. Um, and also a young lad uh, who is from a more recent um, conflict in Africa. One of the things I'm trying to capture is that sense of innocence, but of innocence betrayed.